what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video of this guy. He appears to be at an outdoor mall, flashing hundreds in front of this girl. And there's two guys on a level above him who are off screen talking about jacking him. Dude's like, yeah, we get those blue faces. I catch them at the wheel. That's it. I don't understand why people flash money, uh, large sums of money in open places in public. I don't understand that at all. There are too many people out there who are on the hunt, always lurking, and they trying to catch you slipping, and they will run up on you and put that thing in your face. Now, once they put that in your face, you're at their mercy. A jack could easily turn into a murder. So you want to try to keep yourself out of these type of situations. When I first started making money, I used to have a, a wad of money in each front pocket. I'm talking about at least 5,000 in each pocket, minimum. Sometimes I have 10,000 easy in each pocket. This was a result of a person who had never had that kind of money before and saw people who had that kind of money and always wanted to replicate it. So when I got it, you know, I flashed it. And one day I just woke up and decided that was not a good idea. I didn't see anybody get killed or anything like that, get jacked. I just decided that I was putting myself at risk. I was very vulnerable doing that. And I had to think like a criminal, like how would somebody that's out there who's trying to come up, how are they thinking? They looking for any type of score, any type of lick. So dudes who saw old buddy counting the, counting the hundreds, they think it's sweet. They looking at it like it's a sweet lick. And they didn't show the rest of it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they got at him afterwards. Remember, that's how X ended up getting killed. Do say that X Tentacion was inside of the motor, mo motorcycle, I believe it was a motorcycle store with a bag. And you know, when you see that bag, you know what's in it most of the time. Because a lot of dudes like to walk around with the bag and they got the stacks in the bag. So, dude and them caught X coming out of the driveway and lit him up, took the bag. Still unclear how much money was in that, that bag, but all those fools got caught up and now all of them are facing life sentences. And that's usually what happened to Jackers. Uh, it's good for a minute and then it's over and they end up doing a bunch of time. Sometimes they get killed. In any event, uh, I just don't know any retired Jackers. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about retired Jackers who retired with the money, who retired on top. I don't know any guys like that. All of the jackers that I know, besides government jackers, they all were on top at once and then they got popped and they went to jail for a gang of years and they came out broke. I only won't know one guy who had some money stashed and he did about 10 years, he got out and he had some money, he was able to continue, but everybody else came back broke, or they got killed. Those are not good odds to me. You did re just lousy retirement plan. 
not a good look for me. So, yeah, I would say, fam, uh, do like I did. Uh, yeah, when you got it, people know you got it anyway. You ain't really got to flaunt it. You don't have to walk around with racks in your pocket. The easiest thing to do, the safest thing to do, is to use your cards. That's what I do now. A fool hit me up, and they get my card. That card gonna get canceled so fast. In fact, it's gonna get blocked real fast because I got great protection with my cards. So they may get one or two transactions to go through. They may, I mean, that's and that's a slim, slim chance. But other than that, uh, they're not gonna get a lot. And even if they do get one or two transactions to go through, guess what? the bank going to put the money back into my account. Simple as that. So that's the cool thing about not walking around with that cash because if you get jacked with the cash, money gone. Ain't no way to replenish it. It's not insured. Fam, take it from me. Be low, on the go. Lay low. Don't don't flash that money because you are telling somebody, come on, come jack me, come get it. There's too many people out there that are struggling who feel like if you got it and they ain't got it, then they want to get it and they're going to get it from you. I can recall being at the club years ago, standing at the bar. It's late. The club is about to close. At the corner of my eye, I see this dude staring at me. Then I see him make eye contact with another dude who was posted up on the other side of me trying to be inconspicuous. They looked to be plotting to get me. I had a rollie on and a chain. I got my homie standing next to me and I let him know what the play was he hit up the other homies that was outside and that was inside the club. And I give him time to get in position. As soon as we get outside, dude, them right behind me. They on me. And they got another dude with them. My soldiers get right in the middle of them. Ding, ding, fries and shake. Just like that. The point is, fam. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?